Alrighty guys, so I have a bit of a different video today. This is going a little outside my typical purview, but this is something that everybody is talking about and I felt I kind of need to get in on this. They finally released Missouri today. This has been shrouded in secrecy forever, it feels like. So let's go into the armory. Uh, you guys may also notice that my voice sounds a little bit different. That's because my cats insist on removing my pop filter from my headphones, you little shits. As you can probably hear them right there. So it looks like we have two ways of doing it. It looks like they moved the missions in-game so you don't have to go online anymore. But it looks like you have to play all these all the way to the end, which I'm going to assume is right there at the uh, signing of the treaty that ended World War II. On board, of course, the, the famous USS Missouri. I just claimed the Pearl Harbor one. Uh, if we go back out here, sorry if I'm kind of stumbling a little bit, it's still a little early. It, as you can see, ranked isn't even up yet, which means it's before noon, which for me is early. Um, it's not where I wanted to be. Going to missions, you can see I have Pacific War, gives me 18 days to do it. Get seven set on fire, cause floods or hit the Citadel ribbons, that's pretty easy. You just have to play Japan, which I have my Otago playing in ranked, so that's going to be pretty easy. And then get two destroyed ribbons, which again is pretty easy, so I'll probably have this done in a day. Uh, I'm looking at the other way though. If we look at this other way, we can buy through the loot box. Oh my lord, this infuriated me at first, but after I've looked at it for a bit is actually not that bad. And I, I say that with a grain of salt. Because it really isn't that bad. What makes it so much better? Now, hold on. Before I go into the better, let's do a quick calculation. There are 41 containers at 1,500 doubloons apiece. That is 61,500 doubloons. I don't think I've ever had that many doubloons at one time in this game. Doing Just hopping on wargaming.com right quick. You can get 50,000 doubloons for $198. So realistically about 225 dollars to get this ship oh my lord that sounds like a lot right well you get these pacific tokens and you can also get these pacific tokens in those missions you can come down here and you can trade them for a bunch of commanders which i'm probably not going to do because it doesn't look like they have any special uh characteristics they're not a seasoned commander they're not a uh Oh, what's the other term? They're not a seasoned commander. They're not a unique commander. They are just a regular commander. So, probably not going to go that route. However, if we scroll a little bit further down, here we go. You can get up to six premium ships for that $200. Okay, that's not that bad. Now, that's not that good. But that's not that bad, especially when you consider that these ships are not ships that you can choose. Uh, for me, that's a bit of a problem because I am very nitpicky. I want ships that I want. I don't want ships that I don't want. But we can get a tier 2 to 4 ship, which includes the Emden, Ubari, so on and so forth. You can get a tier 5 ship, which includes the Texas. I already have that. Genova, already got that. Uh, I... October Revolution, I'm not going to try and pronounce that in Russian, the Exter, the Marblehead, uh, Marblehead Lima, you can get a lot of these ships. A lot of them I still have, I kind of have. Uh, Perth, I already have it. Dunkirk, want it. So, De Grasse, I don't think I have it. Eigel, don't have it. Prince Otto Friedrich, I want, so that would be good. Uh, the Duca, uh, don't really want it. Mutsu, I have it. Huang He, have it. Anshin, I think I have it. Warspite, I do want uh, Gallant, so on and so forth. I can go through all this, but um, essentially, this is how you can get. This is how you can kind of justify spending the two hundred dollars, in my opinion. 
Now, if we come back up here, I just want to do math because this actually just occurred to me. I didn't even think about it. So if we look at this, you get 500, uh, 500 Pacific tokens times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 40 times 500 is... I should be able to do it, but I'm tired. 20,000 Pacific tokens. If we... Oops, wrong button. Come back down here. Let's see... 1,000 plus 2,000 plus 2750 plus 4250 plus 5,000, 15,000. So you would actually have Pacific doubloons left over, especially after you, uh, especially after you complete those missions that give you even more Pacific doubloons. So you can actually come ahead on this so is it better no is it perfect no or is it better yes is it perfect no uh kind of got that mixed up right there i wouldn't mind buying these commanders but honestly honestly i'd probably just end up selling them because i have so many commanders already that it's like i don't really need any more why do i need any more but that's kind of where this is at i'm flipping the coin right now on whether or not I should go through the loot boxes or not. I kind of want to do the way that I Chase Gaming has said, where if you don't get in the first 10, you're not going to get until the very last one, so don't even bother. But honestly, I'm considering getting it just because I love the Iowa-class battleship so much. I am an Iowa-class sh ship fanboy. If they release the New Jersey today with a different set of gigs, like let's say they made it like a German... Uh, a German battleship where it has hydro, it has the better secondaries like the Georgia, I would probably get it. As it stands, though, that's not how what they're doing. So, I'm going to consider thinking about this, and who knows, I might end up doing this. And you know what? If I do do it, I'll be doing it for you guys, but I'll also be doing it for me. So, I'm not going to lie, I'll probably be doing it for me. Uh, that's it for today's video. Just wanted to throw this up right quick since they just released Missouri. Let me know. Should I get it? Should I not? I know it's basically a worse version of the Iowa. It doesn't have the heel. The rudder shift is a little bit worse. But on the other side, it is a premium tier ship, tier 9 Iowa. Which means I can throw my high point commander on it really easily. I get a little bit better earning potential. It's still a very good ship. It even has that radar. That radar is not why I'm interested in. I'm interested because it's still a pretty good ship. Um, like I said, that'll be all for today's video. Let me know. I'm going to start bankrolling the balloons no matter what. So I'll see you all in the next video.